started it in 94 with the premise of trying to help young guys out of college prepare for life on the PGA Tour. The hardest thing to understand is the best players out of college don't necessarily make it to the tour right away. They have to find a place to play, so they come here to play. Um, players that have been on the PGA and web.com tour have lost their status, need to come back and play and, and get better so they can get back out there. So we've got a great mix of young, strong talent, and then we've got a mix of some veteran guys who've been doing it for a while. Um, and that together gives people a pretty good taste of what professional golf is all about. And that, you know, the top 25 guys out here on this tour are just this far away from uh, making it on the PGA Tour. Pros arrive on, uh, on a Monday or a Tuesday, and, and practice rounds are on Monday, special events are on Monday. Uh, sometimes we have pro-am parties in the evenings on Monday. And then, you know, on Tuesdays we have pro-am days, generally morning and afternoon wave. This is what sponsors the events, who are supporting the charities and the tournament, get to play with the pros. It's just so awesome. This is my first uh, pro-am, so it, it's been a real experience to see Dan hit it so doggone far. I think the, the big exciting part about it is uh, just hanging out with new guys each week, you know, and you learn something about them, you get to, it, it, it's so much fun. And then just like a PGA event, on Wednesday we start the pro golf tournament with morning and afternoon tee times, make a cut on Thursday, Friday and Saturday we have uh, the last two rounds, crown our champion and move on to the next week. The great thing about what we do now, uh, it's been the evolution of the tour, is now we partner with nonprofits uh, for two reasons. One, it helps us give back to the community that supports the tournament, but it also gives the nonprofits a great platform to set their events apart from the other charitable events in town. We got sponsors from a lot of local businesses came forward and sponsored us, um, which will really help because we are such a small facility. We have a very limited budget, so this is really going to help us get some programs started that we desperately need. Pro events, multiple days, media. Uh, there's just a lot more that goes on with a pro golf tournament, and then it's exclusive for our nonprofit partner. There's a number of benefits that the courses get. I mean, from getting some of the best players, uh, you know, in professional golf to come and play their facility and see how it stands up to the test of pro golf, to you know, being able to get a little bit of marketability out of it, to have the pros interviewed on television in front of cameras saying how nice their facility is, how privileged they are to play it. I play it. I mean, this course is, is something special and, you know, I'm, I'm happy to have got it done out here. It, you know, it really, it reemphasizes to members of the club how special their club is. And it's, it's, it can be a really nice perk for the membership of a club. For 24 years, we've had a number of players go on to start them in the PGA Tour. You know, just learning to shoot low numbers. Uh... In, in professional golf today, you got to be able to go low. And I was able to, to for a few years playing the, on the Adams Pro Tour, winning four times, knowing how to shoot low numbers. The competition was stiff, so I, um, I carried that a lot when I came out here on tour. It's nice for the members of clubs and the sponsors in our communities to get to see those young men before they make it on the PGA Tour. I love this tour and uh, this uh, helps me continue to grow. This is the third tour. This is the developmental tour. Without you know Adams Tour, there wouldn't be or APT. I should say there there wouldn't be uh, a spot for you know 150 plus guys to play every week. To get a win against you know the the third tier best players in the country, it, it goes a long way.